All right, so some new figures are beaming onto the scene. And I gotta say, these guys look pretty awesome. We're looking at some of the new Star Trek figures that are coming out this July by Playmates. And first we have Khan from The Wrath of Khan, Star Trek II, which was out in 1982. And look at this guy, the detail in him. He's one of the superhumans that was in some kind of cryogenic stasis field that Kirk was fighting off in Star Trek II. And the face, I gotta say, looks just like him. And then, of course, we have the famous Captain James T. Kirk from Star Trek II. And he's got on his movie uniform, which is pretty cool. Look at the details and the belt. It's got the Star Trek sign there. I've always been a big fan of Star Trek. And this is the original one. This is the one that you liked with mm -hmm. none other than Spock. You remember him? Yep. They also have Spock. So they have three figures from this movie. And uh, once again, Spock looks pretty cool. I can't say that Spock and Kirk have the details in the face that Khan does. I mean, Khan looks just like him. But These they guys. They got lots of detail. They do. Kind of looks like him, but seem better. Now we have the next generation. Three from the next generation that are beaming onto the scene with Commander William Riker. And William Riker, he's always been one of my favorites on Star Trek The Next Generation. He's kind of like, to me, the Kirk of the next generation. Uh, he's always getting into fights and uh, standing up for what he believes in. I'm not too familiar with Star Trek. No, this one was out in the 90s, this series. And there in the middle we have Captain Picard. And Captain Picard's cool. He's one of my favorite captains, I gotta say. They have the new series out now called Picard, uh, which is pretty good. But Captain Picard, uh, these are five-inch figures. And they're going to sell for fifteen ninety nine. Uh, they are available for pre-order right now in some places. And then we have Data. Now, Data, he's an android. Yes. he He's like, I love how much detail, and I love how his suit's a little bit more different from all the rest. And... Yeah, these guys... are the, unique features. It looks just like them, these guys, kind of. Mm-hmm. And then we have some figures, only two from Discovery. Now, the thing is with Discovery, I wish they made more from this line. Now, this is Saru, and he's a Kelpian. He's the only Kelpian in Starfleet. And Star Trek Discovery, it started in the 23rd century, around the time of Kirk, and they went into the future, into the 32nd century, and that's where the show takes place now. And they have Michael Burnham, uh, who is perhaps the main character on the show, I gotta say. It kind of follows her. It's a pretty cool series. They also have a few accessories. Oh, I remember seeing that at the Christmas shop. Yeah, but this is a different one. This is the original Star Trek Enterprise. Now, it was the same one at the Christmas shop, mm -hmm. but this is a little different. And it's got the lights and sounds. Uh, that one's going to retail for, I believe they said, forty nine ninety nine. And then we have the phaser. The classic phaser like they used in the old series when they would go on away missions and mm -hmm. such. They would have those phasers. And that's going to be $29.99. That looks pretty cool. So I'm really excited about these new figures that are beaming onto the scene. They're supposed to have 14 points of articulation. They look really cool. And they're brought to us by Playmates, who I believe made the Star Trek action figures way back in the 90s. It's good to see them back in the business of making Star Trek figures again. <laughs> 